the echidna or spiny anteater is a wonderful example of God's intelligent and wise design. This video features an echidna we came across in a favourite walking spot. They are quite rare in this area so we were very privileged to see this one up close. Typically an echidna's home territory is about 50 hectares. In order to find an echidna you would have to look for signs such as broken ant or termite nests, signs of foraging or crescent shaped hollows at the bases of plants. Echidnas use their long sticky tongues to eat ants or termites after they've broken into the termite mound with their sharp claws. Males weigh up to 6 kilos while females weigh up to 4.5 kilos. The average length of an echidna is 35 to 50 centimetres. Echidnas have sharp spines all over their body as well as very sharp claws. When an echidna is threatened, it will either use its large claws to burrow into the ground, or if the ground is too hard, it will roll into a ball with only its spine showing. None of these self-defense mechanisms could have evolved because the echidna would have died out before it had perfected them. They are not fast runners and would otherwise easily be overtaken by faster predators. Even if they knew that sharp spines would be useful for warding off predators, willpower alone would not be enough to make them grow. This information had to have been present in the DNA from the start. So too, knowing how to roll into a ball or bear itself required intelligent design. As we have seen, the echidna self-defense system and its other special features reflect the wisdom of God, not the consequence of random chaotic evolution. Romans chapter 11 verse 33 says, Oh the depth of the riches, both of the wisdom and knowledge of God! How unsearchable are his judgments and his ways past finding out! 